So hello, um, as promised, a rather quick video tonight for introducing you into how to share scenes and how do you um, submit improvements to the ones that are already imported, although you, you saw something that need fixing, have some misplaced uh, map node or an area of the walling that needs to be invisible but isn't or missing door and how can you submit those fixes and it's rather easy and I will walk you through that really quick. So first of all you need to import the scene with the latest version of the uh, DND Beyond Importer module and Chrome extension pair. So only then some additional metadata is transferred over so if you imported anything in the version 2.0 whatever then I'm afraid you're out of luck, you would need to import the scene again. And you can easily select all your walls, for example, and copy them over. But let's assume that you have uh, imported the scene and perhaps adjusted the grid. So here, for example, I've got from um, Dragon of Vice by Pig, I think. No, it's not. It's from Divine Contention, sorry. Divine Contention, I, I remember there was something with D. Uh, Icing Death and Twinkle, uh, so a pair of ships. And this is the bad map just imported right now from Dina Beyond. And we can see some features are off. So grid alignment is not perfect, there's no walling, and the um, journal entries are not yet on the scene. So let's change that for a bit, and I'll be right back. So right, um, I just adjusted the map so the grid is aligned correctly. Um, I'm putting the walls here. I decided to use terrain walls so that we can actually look at each ship individually and see a little bit of water outside, but still it seems to be like a single vessel. So that's that. Um, I put on all the relevant journal entries, which was a little bit more complicated than before because of the harmonized numbering scheme that I'm implementing right now. So what you can see here it's uh, using I1 to I9 on the left and the same goes with T, T1 to T8 on the right and what I did is to uh, just like those are numbered from 1 to 17 now to have like that uniform display all across all maps on all adventure modules and that makes it a little, little bit harder to actually place the map nodes but in the end I think the result is great. Um, so I got all the adjustment that I want to have um, as a GM for my players and now how do I share those. And that's rather easy from your side. All you need to do, please remember, it's only available if you imported it with a new extension. You go and Second thing, you need to be connected to Foundry in your extension. So if that's both true, you can go to the scene navigation and you will see that a new entry is inserted here. Submit scene. And if you press that, there will be a little bit of informational text here. Basically what you're transferring over is all the scene details, that is width and height, if in case you needed to stretch a little bit, which I did in this map. Um, the grid size and the shift X and Y, both are adjusted here too. All the wall information, like where are the walls and what kind of types is this wall of. So we are using a buttload of terrain walls and some regular walls in here. Some doors are placed. Um, we will be using global Ill illumination, so no lights are placed and necessary thing. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, so all these adjustments, including the positions of each of those journal entries, will be um, put together as a data structure and will be transferred over to VDT assets. And what the only thing you need to do here now is what kind of name should um, be displayed when the, like here, let me just show you that real quick. If we go here to the scene submissions, we can see, oh, scene updates, sorry. Uh, that I already did some updates and this is the name that will be displayed here. So please choose one that you're comfortable with. It can be a nickname. Uh, I need to like reject 
um, scene adjustments, it's something like odd or like harassing names or whatever. You, you know which names you choose and which please do not choose because I don't want to see that on the Discord server. Um, so please behave and then you're good. And what would absolutely help me, just describe what you changed. Um, if there might be some minuscule detail, like you forgot a door on the left hand side on the map, just write it in here. Here I will go with adjusted grid, um, added walls, and placed map nodes. So this is um, from zero star to three stars, and that's amazing. So what we can see here that I've never submitted this map and there are zero accepted prior versions. So this is the first adjustment of this map. So if you see here is zero, that's a good candidate to actually work on. And you can see that there are zero submissions queued for this map in particular. So that's a real great match. If you want to contribute, having both to zero here I never accepted, um, there's none in queue to review, so nobody actually took the effort to adjust the maps here. And there are zero accepted versions, best bad for you. So uh, another note that your username will be displayed and the adjustments that you will transmit will be included for everyone after they were reviewed. And this little description would help me to decide if it's a good change or what is actually changed, what do I need to look at, um, because this is a manual thing, so no automatism. Um, let's submit the scene right now and you see okay scene submitted thank you i'll review soon and if i uh, reload the we will see the back end part of my of my review thingy here um so i'm checking for screen approvals and we see that divine contention got uh, icing death and twinkle review with the link for me to import the scene right now i do have the scene here so it automatically um assigns the submission uh, that you transmitted in the previous step and I can just check it is everything okay looks everything good is that is there nice adjustments do do we need to push that to life um, and in this case I would say yes of course um, so let's go to the quality rating and it goes from zero stars so nothing has been done to the map besides referencing the image um, two or five stars, I don't know yet what that would mean. Basically, I was thinking if the scene is grid aligned, that would be one star. If the scene has walling, that would be another star. And if it was has the map nodes placed at the correct locations, that would be the third of the maximum of three stars right now. There will be one star, like a four star rating is possible, for example, on maps in Waterdeep, where adjusted maps so sometimes the maps has different parts like here but they are not grid alignable because they thought it would be funny to draw all over the place and if that would would be aligned a little bit better that would be a four star so basically one star could mean walling or grid alignment that's a little biggest but i think three star rating is the go top goal that uh, i want to achieve for each map and if you want to contribute feel free so I will assign here now three stars, yay, and I can approve that. And you will see that here, I think the Evan Twinkle got updated. Uh, here's my earned stars, more than that in a second. And this is my 14th approved submission. I'm such a good worker bee. So I'm improving the quality of the scene by two stars. That wasn't true because, oh, no, by three stars, a line break here, and now we got a three stars. So you see, Previous, I had 25 stars, now I've got 28. So I want to actually acknowledge if someone wants to contribute that. So I'm counting the star rating if it changed or not. And what is it good for? I have no idea. I haven't thought about that yet. And would you get something for it? Absolutely. I want to um, give something back if you invest your time. I really appreciate that. And I just want to not only warm words, but I will think about something that is well beneficial beneficial or just a little thank you for some kinds. It would be so amazing if we got D D beyond gift codes, but that's not a thing. So 
I will think of something and I hope you will enjoy what I'm come up. But honestly, I've no idea what we will do with the ratings right now. It's just on the scene updates. Perhaps we got some yay uh, high score list or something or oh, superstar. I don't know. I don't know. Please, please don't nail me on that. But I'm counting them. So whoever contributes, it will be acknowledged in the future. So thanks. This is it for tonight. I'm heading to bed now. Take care, everyone.